The following clip is from Train Signal's Hyper-V training course, featuring over seven hours of tools and techniques that allow you to provision new servers, create test environments, configure virtualized physical servers, and much more. Enjoy the clip. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about the whole dynamic storage thing. Uh, there's some really neat alterations and enhancements to storage inside of Server 2008 R2. Uh, one of the things is that you need to know, though, first of all, before we get into being able to switch out virtual hard disks, your primary bootable drive in your virtual machine must be an IDE drive. All right, so you cannot really boot up from a virtual SCSI hard drive currently, although who knows what we'll see in the future, right? But right now, your first hard disk, your operating system must be an IDE bootable disk. Now, what we can do is we can attach up to 64 hard drives to a virtual SCSI controller in R2, uh, and that's been an enhancement. We only used to be able to attach 32 uh, virtual hard drives to a SCSI controller so we have an enhancement there in R2 so we can daisy chain a whole bunch more hard drives to that virtual machine. But the cool thing is, is that you can add virtual hard drives and remove them uh, on the fly while your virtual machine is still up and running but we can only do this with SCSI drives all right so if we want to on the fly add a third virtual hard disk to our SCSI controllers in the virtual machines not a problem. We can add those without taking the machine down. I think that's a that's a major league enhancement, especially if you have a virtualized file server, or if you're really wild and crazy, you have virtualized a database server, uh, and you're running out of storage. You can quickly and easily add more virtual hard disks to the SCSI controller, not to the IDE though. All right, you cannot on the fly add another virtual hard disk to your IDE. So if you're going to add additional storage, you have to attach it to the SCSI. All right, so let's go ahead and then move on over to the server. And let me start off by showing you this dynamic storage capability. And then I'll walk through the other features that I mentioned in the previous slide. All right, let's move on over. All right, so here we are back over on the Hyper-V machine that we have been banging around on for this whole series, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that dynamic storage stuff. And along the way, we're going to take a look at the other items as well. But let's go ahead and start off with the virtual domain controller here. Let's go into its settings by right-clicking on it and selecting settings. Now, what you should be noticing here is that we do not currently have an, a SCSI controller to be able to quickly and easily add and subtract storage from. So what I'm going to do, and since this machine is shut down, I can go ahead and add a SCSI controller. Now, you can't add a SCSI controller to a virtual machine that is already running. So I did want to mention that to you. Uh, now, when you create brand new virtual machines inside of Server 2008 R2, you'll automatically get a SCSI controller. You won't have to add one manually like what we're having to do. But since we upgraded from Server 2008, you know we didn't have that SCSI controller built right into our original machines. But we can go ahead and add one here real quick. So I'm here on Add Hardware, selecting SCSI controller and clicking Add. Bam, done. Now I'm going to click Apply, and that's going to add that SCSI controller. Now, here's another new feature. Remember how I was telling you that we can actually alter settings quickly and easily in R2. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Here is a list. This is a new thing. We didn't have this in the previous version, right? So what we're seeing is something uh, new and I think extremely useful as well. So you see here is our list of virtual machines. And so I can come over here quickly to V file, click on SCSI controller and add and apply. And I can also use these little arrows up top here, forward. I'm going to go ahead and move up forward. 